Hello everyone, this is Lance Goyke. We're talking about overlocking out the knees during your deadlift. So this is common in newer people because they don't quite know what the deadlift is supposed to feel like. Kind of looks like this. So when you, this is usually caused by some sort of cue that I've given where I say, I want you to keep your knees back or I want you to push your butt back. People will do this. You see how my legs are really straight like this. What that does is it kind of puts me on two little posts here and it minimizes the involvement of my hamstrings and my knees. So I do want the hamstrings to be used as uh, hip extensors, but I also want them to stabilize my knee and they kind of lose leverage when I lock my knees out. And so this is a way to exercise like you can do it this way you can purposefully deadlift with your knees locked out but in general i would consider that an accessory movement i would not consider that the way to deadlift so instead if what i'm seeing is somebody's locking their knees out first i have to play back and think about okay what cues am i giving this person or if you're coaching yourself what kinds of things am i thinking about because you may be misinterpreting those. You know, if I said push your butt back or keep your knees back, um, they're just doing what I said. They're just doing it more than I need them to be doing, right? So I just, you know, oftentimes I'll just say, uh, that's really good. You did exactly what I asked for. You're, you're kind of setting a world record in knees back, though. I don't need you to do it quite that much. Okay, that's just a good way for people to understand. Get a little laugh, you know, loosen up. Um, other things I might say, keep your knees soft. That's kind of hit or miss. Athletes generally know what I mean by that, but uh, gen pop people who are just starting to get into the, uh, the workout world of the gym don't really know what that means. It doesn't mean anything to them. So if soft knees doesn't make sense, uh, my other go-to crutch is... I just say, okay, stop for a second. Trade places with me. Watch me. You're doing this. I want you to do this. That almost always works. Um, and then as you go down the line, what people tend to do is they'll lose it and you just have to remind them, right? Or if you're filming yourself, you have to look at that video and say, okay, on rep, one through five, I did really good. But on rep six, I started to lose it. You saw my, my knees, oftentimes what happens is they start to bend their knees more and more and more. They use their hip flexors a little bit more. And so you just have to say, I need this position. I want my shins vertical. I want to kind of bow over the weight. Those are principles if you are locking your knees out too far in the deadlift. Remember, you're losing your leverage if you do it that way. So if you're using it as a training tool, that's okay. But I want you to kind of avoid that if it's a um, normal kind of deadlift.